Our next guest has quite the resume. She is a successful makeup artist, YouTube guru, much digital creator, and she has made it her mission to empower women. Bianca Harris does that through her organization, Women Inspiring Passion and Purpose. She is with us back in the Your Morning Studios. Welcome back. Thank you for having me again. You have inspired a bit of change in your own life. You look very different than the last time you were here a year ago. <laughs> I know, I know, we were just chatting, but uh, yeah, you know, sometimes you just gotta change up your look. All right, tell us about Architect and what's happening. So we're having a meditation seminar uh, this Saturday. And what does that look like, Bianca? Because it sounds like it'd be very quiet. It's not going to be quiet okay, at all. Okay, tell me about it then. <laughs> um, so we're doing a workshop slash meditation. And then um, after the workshop, we're having activations open up. So we have a tarot card reader. We have merch. We have like a little photo booth. We have a body painter. Um, so it is going to be a session that you kind of leave feeling refreshed. But there's a lot of fun kind of activations happening during the event as well. How does that tie into women inspiring passion and purpose? What's the purpose of the meditation? So we were finding for a lot of our events, they were kind of really career focused, but the conversation was naturally coming back to, you know, our day-to-day -day lives, mm -hmm. what we're dealing with, all the things that we're dealing with as human beings. So we thought, why don't we do an event and just kind of focus it on that? So um, the name of the event, Architect, is really like you create your own life, you know? So that's kind of gonna be the underlying theme of everything that we discuss on Saturday. If getting away from busy and mindfulness is one of the challenges that are facing young women right now, uh, what would some of the other challenges be? I think that, I mean, in my conversation that I have with a lot of people that come to our events or that reach out to me is that they're just kind of feeling like, I don't know how to get to the next point. Mm -hmm. I'm stuck. Um, and for me, it's just a matter of, you know, it's really easy. Set deadlines, have people keep you accountable. There has to be a, a, an action plan in order for you to get where you want to be. The field that you're in uh, has, has a creative uh, bent to it. There are a lot of creatives that are drawn to the work that you do. That can be a challenge to do what you just said, which is to set the deadlines, to do the, to do the boring stuff. How do you make those connections for other people who maybe don't have the same natural wiring that you do? Right. Um, I mean, the only thing I could say is give them like the clear, tangible outline. And then also our team is there if people actually need help. So we, we try to be, kind of be on the ground about it. Mm -hmm. So if people want to reach out to us and be like, listen, can you guys be the people keeping us accountable? We'll try and actually do that. Uh, or else just kind of inspire a conversation to figure out who in their life can actually help them, do, oh, help them do that. Yeah. A lot of people will know you from your YouTube channel. How do you come up with your topics for your YouTube page? I'm really inspired by like what's on trend, color, music, fashion. Uh, it, it's really difficult to kind of pinpoint what inspires me because sometimes it'll just be something really small mm -hmm. and then you create an entire video or, or event just based on that one little thing. So it's pretty cool. This is not the first uh, WIP or Women Inspired uh, Passion and Purpose uh, event that you've organized. How is that project going for you? I know it is a real passion project of yours. It's going, it, it's incredible. It's kind of taken over my life. It's where, it's where my career is really shifting. Mm -hmm. um, the event that we do after this is pro probably going to be something international um, and on like a really big scale. So we wanted to make sure we did something really intimate with this event because the next one's going to be probably really huge. All right. I have to ask you just before you go, last yep. question. Who is your style icon? Uh, my two style icons are Kurt Cobain and Tupac. Those are two very different <laughs> uh, style icons. What do you take from each of them? I just love that they both like are very fashion, but also have a little bit of an undone kind of vibe to both of their styles. So that's kind of what I'm attracted to and how I dress. And how I dress is kind of very um, boyish, I guess you'd say. I'm looking forward to your event this weekend. All the best and thanks for coming Thank back you to so your much morning. For having me.